Whoever in cash, we must deal with them. They must. Look, if the Minister of Justice, Mr. Honorable uh, Musa Dean, is a personal friend of mine, but if he can't do his job, then he must be removed. The message must go clear. If the IG sitting down here and allowing his police force to stand down, then he must be removed. If the executive led by President George Manawea does not take a decisive move on this mob violence, we expect the president that leads the security forces to take a lead, a decisive lead. If not, it will be looked at, perceived as state-sponsored terrorism. That's how it will be perceived. And if we, who have the oversight responsibility, and the executive does not want to act, then we must act. Safeguarding our people. Again, colleagues, can you imagine if that were your children in Lokita on a siege for hours? I think you should imagine it that way. That was your daughter or your son or all those children who are Indian. Those are Liberians. They were seriously Indian. And we thank God that we, we did not get a loss of life. We thank the Lord for that. But those children received serious injuries and serious trauma. I haven't heard the head of state, the president, come out and condemn this action yet on a no second. I haven't heard that. That's poor leadership. That is poor leadership. I said in the Senate, and we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. Senator Cooper? I'm, 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 I'm on the floor. Why don't you need to talk where you want to talk? I did throw here for me. Yeah, excuse me, Senator Cooper. You calling me to order, presiding? I'm not calling you to order. I'm just trying to give you additional information. No, 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 no presiding. No, 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 you can't debate. You can't debate, presiding. You can't debate. You can't debate. When you want to debate, come sit down here. That's what I think you see. Then you can debate, sir. But up there, you can't debate that. Huh? Yeah. Are you in the standing room? So if you want presiding to debate, you can remove yourself. Can sit down here with us to your, uh, to your place on this side and debate. We agree. But up there. Right. Let me finish. Please, sir. Thank you, sir. So, fellow colleagues, look. When I saw and witnessed that video of what occurred in Logita, tears came to my eyes. Sorry for those people who were there. So move. Thank you. Second. Look, let me tell you something. They think we flame with. Colleagues, we are sending up our people to represent. People are living in fear right now. People are living in fear. Now, when you have a breakdown in your national police, your security apparatus, you know what happened? Let me tell you what happened. Me and I know Susia, or I can call say, but I will call it say today, so all you have to hear. What will happen in our country if we don't react forcefully and when we don't make people accountable for their actions, what will happen? We will get a civil uprising. You will find people now that can't trust the police. They will go start getting their own security forces to safeguard them. That's how my mission that starts first when you cannot trust the Liberian National Police to protect you, what do you do? As a human being, you must protect yourself. You start getting people different recruit. They may recruit you. The other person will recruit you. 
This is how you have a breakdown in law and order. We don't want that. We need to be very conscious of what is occurring in our nation today. I could sit and list where you see citizens take suspect, suspect in the mouth. They took the suspect from the police and they killed two of them right there. My country, my country, country. they burned the police in Wiala. They burned it down. These small small things, small small things, small small things. People who are involved in, in local town. Look, when the president sat down to CDC National Headquarters and said, no urine will we anything here as long as I'm president, he said, matter of fact, I came here in my car, I, I didn't come here in government car, I came in my private car, and I'm not talking as president, I'm talking as a political leader, Stella Barrow of CDC. He is on record internationally to say, no urine will win. Now, whether the president involved, he not involved in the violence. It will just lead people from his statement to say that he was involved. Because he said, no, you're it. Will we let you? So now, you impose them. Why don't you tell you people to go turn rock, terrorize the people? They are emboldened to pick on rock and say, we're doing nothing with that all This is what is happening. This is what is happening. But we can all be partisans, take our party line, and say, well, I will defend my party, or no, you will defend your country and your fellow citizens out of harm's way. The president himself has to be asked why you made such a statement, and subsequent to your statement, we are getting people taking rock and boldly putting people's lives on a jeopardy. Yeah. It has to be taught. And I hope the network, you will watch and hear what Senator Kuba is saying. I voted for after second round for President Weir. But I did not vote for the country to be mismanaged and go down this slippery path. No. We must all take heed and we must all understand that what occurred in Loki Town is a clear and present danger to the stability and peace of this nation. That is said according. If we cannot trust the police to come to our aid as citizens, then we will have to safeguard ourselves. And this what brings a breakdown of law and order and no respect for authority. Once the people do not expect, do not respect authority or do not believe in the governing body, even us, they will bring all of us down one by one. Not just the president, the legislature will go, the three branches of government will fall. We saw that in 1980, my people. We saw that in, in the 90s. What more we need to see to know that when people do not have any trust in their government, it will fail. Article 1 of the Constitution, all power is inherent in the who? The people. And when the people know that you are abusing their safety and their trust, they will react. And when the people react, they have no leader. It goes to damages. So fellow colleagues, I thank you all for listening to me. And I want to reinforce that if it doesn't, if, if it will not happen tomorrow, no problem. But let it happen on Thursday. This is a national security matter. The NSA should be called, the uh, Minister of Justice, the IG, the 105 who was on the, re on the scene and refused to bring those people into safety should be brought in front of us. 
the Minister of Defense should be called the National Election Commission. And the commissioners must be brought in here. Because they know the violence and the trouble that has it, that, that's been happening with this District 15. Why they did not order the police to put security with the two candidates, PSU, and they were entitled. Those two candidates, Abu Antilia was entitled to PSU, and National Election Commission should have requested that from the Minister of Justice. Minister of Justice should have ordered that, and then those police would have been able to alert the authority to react and respond quickly to an incident. That's what you do. So they dropped the ball. They messed up too. So before they mess up all of us, let's bring them here and tell them their job because some of them don't know their job. They're not fit to be in no job. So before we chakra the place, let's chakra some of them. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you in the